Hi, this is Madison with the Yakima Valley Libraries. Today I've got three great books I want to share with you. So let's get started. Our theme is Summer Scares. Summer is the perfect time to go for a swim, take a long hike, eat ice cream, and tell scary stories by the bonfire. For our first summer scare, we have The Nest by Kenneth Opal. In this story, Stephen's family just had a new baby, but the baby is sick and this weighs heavy on Stephen and his parents. One evening, while sitting outside in the backyard for a picnic lunch, Stephen gets stung by a wasp. Ouch! That night, he dreamed he saw angels, or at least what he thought were angels. They said they came because of the baby. They came to help. Or did they? As the summer goes on, Stephen isn't so sure he trusts these angels. And then there's the weird man in the neighborhood asking people if they need their knives sharpened. And to make matters worse, after telling his parents about his dreams, they're sending him back to see his therapist because Stephen also suffers from anxiety and OCD. Is he going crazy or is there something else going on that just isn't right? Find out what happens to Stephen, his baby brother, and their family in Kenneth Opal's The Nest. Next up, we have City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Cassidy is a photography enthusiast who happens to have a best friend who's a ghost. You see, one night, Cassidy falls into an icy river and almost drowns. But Jacob, her ghost friend, saves her, and now she can see and communicate with the dead. Oh, and Jacob can read her mind, so there are no secrets here. This summer, Cassidy's parents, who just happen to be ghost hunters who have never seen a real ghost, inform her that they are shooting a new television show, and the first episode is going to take place in Scotland. Once there, Cassidy meets another person who shares her special gift. She also learns that there's more to her gift than she realized. Oh, and she also has the ability to cross over to the other side, a place that she calls the veil. But don't stay too long or you might get stuck. Find out what happens to Cassidy and her ghost friend Jacob in City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. And if you really enjoyed her first adventure, be sure to follow up with the sequel, Tunnel of Bones, out now. And finally, we have Watch Hollow, by Gregory Fanero. Have you ever been presented with an offer that sounded too good to be true? Did it turn out to be all you expected? Or was there more to, more to the offer unbeknownst to you? This is what happened to the Tinker Kids and their father when an older man came into their store one night asking Mr. Tinker if he would accept the job of fixing a special clock in a new house he just acquired. If the family wasn't suffering from financial problems, you see, the children are teased at school for having to use food stamps, and that's not cool. Mr. Tinker might not have accepted the offer, but here we are, and there they go, off to Blackford House to live for the summer while Mr. Tinker works on the clock. Cool, great, but you probably already know this isn't a normal clock, and this isn't a normal house. So don't be surprised when talking animals show up and warn the children of an evil lurking in the woods. With themes such as bullying and family and magic and evil monsters, Watch Hollow is sure to appeal to many middle grade kids this summer. And if you want to continue the fun at Blackford House, check out the second installment of the Watch Hollow series, The Alchemist Shadow, out now. And that's it for Summer Scares. All of these titles and more can be found on our Overdrive or Libby platforms. Thanks for listening. <laughs>